Invisible audience, I have a story to tell you. I don't have classes on Tuesdays, and Monday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so like we had the day off of school, and you know, because I am a pro procrastinator, I waited until Tuesday night to do all of my homework that was due on Wednesday. Trust me, I know I shouldn't, but I can't help it. I'm a procrastinator. I procrastinate. So Tuesday morning I get up and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do all of my homework and it's gonna be great and I'm gonna be finished by like 5 o'clock and I'm gonna eat dinner and I'm gonna be like, yeah. That's not what happened. I started writing a paper for English at about 10 o'clock on Tuesday. Fast forward to about 7.30 and I'm done. The essay isn't done. I've written about three different versions and they're all too short and they're all terrible, but I am just completely done. I wasn't in the right mindset or I couldn't focus. I don't know, something was up and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't write it. I tried to write that paper. I tried all day to write that paper, but I couldn't. The essay was supposed to be four pages and I decided that, well, a two-page essay full of crap and terribleness is probably better than nothing, so I should probably bring what I've got to class. Fast forward to today. The essay that I was writing was supposed to be part of a peer review assignment, and so we were supposed to bring two copies to class. We were supposed to bring a copy to give to another student to review, and then a copy to give to the teacher. Quite a few of my fellow classmates only brought one copy, and so the teacher had to extend the deadline to about 5 o'clock today. She told us that she wanted a physical copy of our paper turned into our mailbox on the fifth floor of the building that our office is located in by 5 o'clock tonight. So I get an idea. What if instead of turning in my two-page terrible essay, I write a slightly better one after class and get it to her mailbox by 5 o'clock? So it's 3.30 and I get out of class and I run back to my dorm and I start writing frantically. I write better under pressure and the stuff that I was writing was better than anything that I had written the day before. Let's skip ahead an hour of essay writing, it's 4.45 and I'm done. The essay that I've written is still a page short, but it's a whole lot better than what it was before. So paper's done and I email it to myself and I make my way over to the library. So I do the whole logging in and the printing thing and I do it as quickly as possible, but it still takes a bit of time. By the time I'm out of there, it's 4.52. I grab my freshly printed paper and I dash out of the library and into the rain. Water droplets collect on my glasses and obscure my vision as well as smear the freshly printed, not quite dry, lettering on my frantically written paper. That was really dramatic, I'm sorry. This is a dramatic story. So I've got my paper and I'm running through the rain to the office building and I get inside and I have to go up five flights of stairs. Fine. Whatever. I start running up the stairs. So I get to the top of the stairs and I'm a bit out of breath. But I look at my phone and it's 4.59. I've made it. I beat five o'clock. I can... I'm so close. I go to pull open the door to the English department, and it's locked. I, uh, didn't make it. I thought I had enough time. I thought I could get there. I believed in myself. I had, apparently, way too much faith in my own ability to do things, and I didn't make it. I failed. And, like, there's no one else that I can blame besides myself. And that's, like, that's heartbreaking. This is pretty... I mean, like, what do I do with that? It's like, oh, good job, self. You took a chance, and it didn't pay off. I still have the paper, by the way, and it's it's a bit of a mess. But I've, I've also emailed my professor and explained this whole sad story and emailed her a copy, and maybe she'll let it go. But, you know, it doesn't matter. I made a damn good story. Don't procrastinate, kids. Choo, choo, choo!